Which nest to choose for budgies? In the wild, budgies in the hollows of rotten trees grind a place for the nest with their beaks and do not groom it specifically. They are satisfied with a hollow that is wide enough to place five to eight eggs as a female usually lays. They nest twice a year during heavy rains after which the grass is more lush and there is enough food for the progeny. At home, people make it usually two types of nests, high and late. From a high nest, babies find it harder to get out and therefore stay longer with the parents who feed them. They need a lot of strength to be able to get out of a nest of this type. The late type of nest arose from the breeder's fear that the budgie's mother would endanger the litter, since it descends directly on the eggs and young when entering. When the nest is laid, the bird first enters the part like a lobby and then in the second half there is a recess on the floor where the eggs are laid. This is the perfect nest for budgies. The recess is there to keep the eggs together and prevent rolling and damage. As for the sawdust, in the nest it should be placed, but a little bigger, but in most cases the female throws out almost everything and left very little. All thought, they are also females that do not throw out but are rare. A little coarse sawdust can be placed on the floor without small particles that can clog the nostrils and lead to suffocation of the young. Both females will leave as much sawdust as sweets her and the rest will be thrown out. A nest for a budgie must be made of hardwood or playwood. The cardboard is completely unusable because the female will, before deciding to nest, assess the strength and safety of the nest in great detail by nibbling it with her beak for days. If it fails to damage it, it means that it is usable for lying eggs. In order to be able to control the inside of the nest, the upper part is made in the form of a lid that we can lift. This is necessary for cleaning, monitoring the development of the litter and so on. The floor of the nest is best made of real wood, about 2 cm thick, so that enough can be made good dresses for eggs. The nest is best placed on the outside of the cage, so it doesn't take up space inside and it is easier to access due to cleaning and monitoring the litter. Care should be taken to turn the cage so that the budgie from the nest has a complete view on the room, room in which it is located, but also that the light does not fall directly on the opening of the nest. Putting nest usually arouses great excitement in budgies. Before the female begins to explore the nest, the male will first invite her inside by tapping his beak near the entrance. The female very quickly begins to explore him. Care should be taken that the lid is well secured so that the female cannot open it by pushing. If the cover is easily removed, it can be fixed on the outside with wire or duct tape. The nest must be cleaned every time the newly hatched chicks leave it. After a month, the breeding behavior of our budgies Kiki and Fiona is noticeable. 
We hope we will have our first baby budgie soon.